Kelly Clarkson has not shied away from speaking about her divorce from her former husband, Brandon Blackstock. And now in a new conversation, she's opening up about the moment she knew that things were not going to work out and ultimately how she arrived at that decision for their marriage to come to an end. Here's more on what she had to say in that brand new conversation. Before we continue, if you're new to CountryCast, we post daily breaking news and updates about country music and all things country. So consider hitting that subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss an update. Kelly Clarkson is opening up in a new conversation with Apple Music's Zane Lowe about her decision to divorce from Brandon Blackstock back in 2020 after being married for nearly seven years. She said, it's gradual, and that's what people tell you too. I mean, it's interesting, because this album starts off with the song called Skip This Part, and I literally say, can I skip this part? Clarkson speaking on her new album, Chemistry, which delves into the subject of the end of her marriage. She continued saying, I literally said to my therapist, and it wasn't even honestly, we weren't even divorced. We weren't separated then. It was like, when we first started talking, it was marriage counseling. It was trying to make it work. We're trying to figure it out. I desperately want to make this happen. But I think I knew in my heart, it just wasn't going to. She said people told her not to worry because the end of the hardship was around the corner. She said, and you're like, shut up. At the time, you're just like, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear the light at the end of the tunnel. I don't want to hear all the bumper stickers you're about to feed me. It's just shitty, and that's where I'm at, and I don't want to go through that. She said, people don't generally go to therapy, but continued, but it's very helpful to have a trained professional that knows how to navigate you through rough seas, and it's a roller coaster. Her album Chemistry, which releases this Friday, she said, it's like, I'm out, and it's like, wait, I'm in, because love makes you do really incredible things and incredibly stupid things. And so I don't think there was a moment where I knew I felt better. It just gradually happened from there one day. And I think the thing that did help me is she was like, you don't have to attend every argument that you're invited to. And that really stuck with me. Clarkson even said that record labels are not a fan of me because I'm always never about the money. She said, because they're always like, they'll shove money at you to just record this. I'm like, I don't want to record that. That's not me. And there are compromises along the way, whatever. Music has always been a necessity for me, even when I was a kid. Like I was saying, I had a hard time with confronting not only others, but even myself, if I'm being honest, with what I'm feeling and where I'm at. And it was very hard for me to describe or put into words or to have a conversation with someone. So my mom shoved a journal in front of me and was like, if you're not going to talk to somebody or anybody else, write it down. So I started as poetry and then it became lyrics. So I think it's always been a necessity for me. Again, Kelly Clarkson's brand new album, Chemistry, will release this Friday. Kelly Clarkson has always seemed like such a genuine artist, really speaking from the heart, and it sounds like on this new record, that is definitely something she's going to convey through the music. So you can get that record again this Friday, wherever music is available. That's your latest update from CountryCast. Again, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button for your latest country news and updates and all things country. Thanks so much for tuning in, and you can follow along on the CountryCast Instagram as well.